You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog It's currently Sunday and I've had quite a bit of a busy week this week So I thought for this week's vlog I would just do a day in the life So come along with us on today's family Sunday um, It's about 11 o'clock, I've had a slow morning breakfast um, and then Harry's actually working today, so just Camilla and I this morning and I'm about to get ready for the day, a shower, get ready and yeah, we've just got a few things on and then when Harry gets home, we're going to go do a few family things. Um, so yeah, come along with us on this Sunday vlog. First up is a shower and I need to have a bit of an everything shower this morning, like I need to shave, I need to wash my hair all the bits so I thought I would just quickly share with you I haven't done this for a while so I thought I would share what I'm using at the moment on my hair and stuff like that I'm also in the new bathroom which I haven't actually shared much I thought as well today I could show you a bit of a home update bathroom update it's still not finished and we've had some lighting put in that I haven't properly talked you through getting some tiling done it's also very echoing here so hopefully you can hear me okay um so yeah I thought I would take you through um, a bit of the house updates where we're up to. The bathroom is so close to being finished. I'm literally so excited. It's not fully done, but I'm happy enough at the moment because we can shower in here and all of that. So yeah, come along with us. Come along for a family Sunday. So first up is shampoo. So I'm currently using this one from Redken, which my hairdresser kind of recommended. I used Redken years ago. I used to use the pink one and she told me to start using the All Soft, which is the gold one. Really love it. I've still got quite a bit left in this, so I've just been using this up. Um, I just got this. It's actually quite affordable. Like seriously, shampoo and conditioner has gotten so expensive and I like to use like good quality salon products, but oh my goodness, I just feel like everything at the moment is getting so expensive. So this is a really nice one. It's not like too expensive. I just got this from Chemist Warehouse, so you can pick it up really well priced. Um, but yeah, shampoo and conditioner. I also got this last week. You would have seen at the L'Oreal event that I went to, the hair event. And they used it last week and I really liked the feel of it on my hair. Like it felt really hydrated and healthy. But So I brought this home and I'm going to try this out as well. But I thought... So this is the Absolute Repair Molecular Range that I spoke about last week from L'Oreal. So I haven't tried this out fully yet, so I can't really give a proper review. But also I love that it's very like neutral, beige, goes nice with my shower. But I thought I'm just going to finish using this up on my hair first. Um, then I'll start on that range. Once I've done like a few washes and used it for a while, I will give you a proper review. Then body products, I've just been using this. CeraVe body wash. I also use, this is the oil. Um, it's like an oil cleanser, which I love. It's really hydrating. It foams up in your hands and it's really nice. Just get this from Chemist Warehouse. Again, not super expensive or anything. I also love their um, just normal foam body wash. This is the oil one, but you can get the normal cleansing one. Really, really good. Again, nothing super fancy or expensive. I just feel like on my body, I just like like a really nice clean, easy to use like you know easy products um yeah really good really love the CeraVe range so I also use their body moisturizer all over like after I have a shower or every day I use this throughout my whole pregnancy so so good it also so this is the CeraVe moisturizing cream it also comes in a lotion like in a pump but depending on how you like um to wear your moisturizer or how your body how dry your body is the cream is 
really good for me. So my skin just fit, like soaks it up. It's so nice. You can get it in a few different sizes, um, but I love this. Again, I just get this at Chemist Warehouse. Also, none of this is sponsored or anything like that. I just thought I would update you on what I'm actually using at the moment. And all of these products are quite affordable, very accessible from Chemist Warehouse. I think they also sell these products maybe at Priceline. So I feel like very easy to access. Then I also need to buy some new one of this. This is also Chemist Warehouse, this Neutrogena Body Oil. So, so good. I feel like this is highly underrated. It's so cheap. I think it's like four or five dollars honestly it's really it's under ten dollars so so good it's just like a really light oil you can either use you can pop this in the bath it's really nice to just pour in the bath but i just use it in the shower put it all over my whole body and then wash it off and it's just like really nice also i sometimes mix a little bit of it with pour a little bit into my hand with the body cream the moisturizer and mix it together it's just so nice if you i usually do that before i'm going to bed so that if you wake up and your skin's really hydrated, moisturized, glowy. Just, I feel like the oil just adds something extra. So good. Skincare products, I'm still using all of the same products that I've shared before. Dermalogica, um, mostly in the shower, which love. I've gotten Harry onto them too. He's used them for a few years now. Um, we're just huge Dermalogica fans. I feel like really good for your skin. And it's just, I don't know, my skin just really likes it. So I keep using the products that my skin likes. I feel like that's everything. Hair, body, also, I just feel like I have to say at the moment, I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like everything has gotten so expensive and it's just really hard to keep up with products. So we've got like makeup products to buy, body products, hair products, then hair styling products. Like it's just over, it's too much. It's just way too much. Everything's so expensive. So I'm all about trying to find products that are good and good quality and that my skin and hair and stuff likes, but also just not spending a fortune. Um, another skincare like body brand that I really do like is Necessaire from Mecca. You can now get them at Mecca. Um, I really do love their products, but they are a bit more of a splurge. So I feel like I would like to get some of those products again. I love their body wash, but I also really love the body serum. It's kind of like a, it's got hyaluronic acid. So it's a bit more of an active body um, moisturizer, which I love. But again, the products are a bit more expensive, like $70, $80 for one product, which I just feel like at the moment I can't justify. So I'm um, happy with using these products at the moment, but I just thought I would say like, yeah, I'm struggling to keep up with how many products you kind of need to use, what's so expensive, like what to invest in, what not to invest in. So it's hard. So I just thought I would share some of my recommendations because I feel like they're all really good quality products and they're not too expensive. So I just thought I'd share that because I know myself how much of a struggle it can be. So I'm gonna pop on and wash my hair. Also, I haven't shown on the box, it's very dirty and it needs to be washed. But my new haircut, I've gone the mum cut. I'm so happy with it and this is the first time washing it myself. So I'm excited to wash and style it today. Very much shorter, but I need to style and wash it myself to kind of really get the feel for it. Dyson air wrap and see how that goes. I'm just going to put some heat protectant and select this hold spray. And then on the ends, I love using this Kerastase oil. It's so good. Although I don't have this long hair now, so I probably didn't need to put that much. What do you got? You helping mummy? She loves playing with my little tripods. Oh, careful! Okay, attempt one with my air wrap. It's just like a cute little blowout. Um, just testing like what how well it holds with the new cut and whether I need to like style it 
the same way as I did with long hair. Perhaps, oh, I'm sweating. It is so hot in this. Whew. Um, or whether I need to maybe, I don't know. I just kind of tried it the same way, but I might pop some spray. So I think every, like I'll just keep testing out different ways and obviously with different, so I use the large attachment today. I also might try, <coughs> that hairspray is toxic. Um, maybe the round brush, also with my straightener. So we will see. But yeah, it's feeling so much healthier since I did the cut. Like it just needed a good cut. I was really worried about losing a bit of my color, my like blondish sort of color, but I feel like it's kept it at a really like healthy looking length. And also after spending like the summer in the sun, it just like the ends get a bit dry and gross. So yeah, it is so hot. And I just checked the weather, it's 30 degrees outside. I'm like the worst at, I've spoken about this before, but I'm the worst person when it comes to checking the weather. Didn't even realize like it's gonna be hot today. Like it's summer, I know, like it's nice weather. You want a yogi? Okay, mommy get it for you. Like, oh, it's so hot. And then here I am, I've got like plans. Here you go, bub. Do you want mommy to open it for you? Daddy's not here, can mommy open it? Daddy's Abby. There you go. Mommy, happy. Thanks, Baba. Like, I never check. <laughs> and then I make plans. And I'm like, should be taking Camilla to the beach today. Um, also, having my brother Jack later. And I had him this morning around here just to help my mum out. We're kind of going through some stuff at the moment with Jack. So, I've just been trying to support um, that. Um, it's like something that it's like not spoken about heaps like with I guess with certain disabilities and some things are kept privately but like I guess it's just like a lot that people don't know that you go through when you have a family member with a disability a lot of mental energy and fatigue just from like carrying around things mentally that you have to go through so that is also what I've been dealing with lately so that is a little update on that. I will go into, like I won't go into that too much further, but yeah, it's just like a lot. Anyways, as I was I was just, didn't even mean to say that, but I was just saying that we had Jackson here. Yeah. What happened to Peppa? She's really into Peppa Pig at the moment. It's so, oh, okay. Mummy fix it. Where's the remote gone? Anyways, this is very scattered, but I was like, oh, so nice our child. I should be taking Camilla to the beach. So maybe when Harry gets home soon, I might do lunch now. Then she needs to go down for her nap. And I'm thinking maybe we can go to the beach this afternoon if it's still nice when she wakes up at like three or four o'clock. <sighs> this is just really hard when you try to fit so much into your weekend. Like it's a real juggle between it's nice outside. I should go out and enjoy it. And it was nice yesterday, but I spent the whole day inside cleaning. And then I kind of have regret, but then I'm like, if I didn't clean, when else was I gonna do that? Oh, joys, hey? Joys of like parenthood, motherhood, and adulthood all in one. I feel like being an adult is just exhausting sometimes. I'm gonna sit you there on my drink bottle. Um, so I'm gonna quickly make some lunch. I'm feeling very basic today. I might just do like a toasted sandwich. I bought some really nice ham from the supermarket yesterday. So, ham sandwich. Feeling like my hair, I do like it. I, can, I just need to get used to it. When you do the chop, you kind of start to feel like you look a lot younger. And I'm like, I don't want to look like a 12 year old with short hair, but I just went to this length just to see. I don't want to go too short, um, but yeah, just feels so weird to have shorter hair. Um, anyways, quick sandwich, hopefully get Camilla down for her nap, but it's quite hot um, as I already mentioned. But yeah, I'm really bad at checking the weather and I need to get way better at that. Like I didn't realize, but tomorrow's gonna be 30 degrees and I'm working tomorrow meant to be doing a big photo shoot. Like that is not good weather. Finished. Good girl. So, strawberry yogurt. We're gonna make some sandwich. Do you wanna help mommy with the ham? And it's not great weather for that. So I'm gonna have to plan around what we're doing. Strawberry yogi. okay, let's go.
Camilla's down for her nap, so hopefully she stays asleep for a little while. Um, we went through like a bit of a phase over the last few weeks, kind of. She was teething and she got a little bit sick. So she was like really hard to get down for her naps and at night time, like not staying asleep, hard to get down for her nap, like hard to put down at bedtime, sorry. But we finally come out the other side of that, thank gosh. <laughs> Um, but this is super random. I don't know if I can see the, on this candle. Um, super random, but I just have to share this because in case anyone else needs like a helpful hint or tip to try it with your kids. But I swear I'm not just saying this because I'm a Swifty, but there is this playlist, which I'll leave in the description box below below there's a playlist on spotify called taylor swift lullabies and it's all of taylor swift songs turn into lullabies which are super cool i only just came across this so a few weeks ago but i've been playing i just play it on my phone it just seems to be so relaxing and grounding and i even just did it then in camille's room she didn't want to go in her cot she was like having a bit of a tanty chucking herself around really aggressive and i think she was just overtired it's 1.30 at the moment and it's probably like a little bit later for her normal nap. So she was a little bit more tired, I'd say. And she was just like going a bit crazy. So I put on one of the songs and it's like a really nice, peaceful lullaby. But it's also a bit more bearable than the real kitty ones. And it's nice Taylor Swift music. Anyways, she just lays down and I don't know why, but because I've only been playing it when it's kind of like bedtime, she kind of understands that it's like... A relaxing time like it, when I play the song it's relaxing hopefully that makes sense so she laid down and it just definitely calmed her down from being like crazy she was standing up in the cot throwing things out I put it on and I gave her a cuddle then popped her back in and she just laid down and I sat I did sit in the chair until she fell asleep because it took about 10 minutes but just because I wanted to make sure she went to sleep okay but I tried it a lot like every few nights I just put put it on in her room for a few minutes and she lays down and then I leave the room and she'll eventually eventually fall asleep. But yeah, I have to had to share the Taylor Swift lullaby playlist. So good. If we ever have any more babies, I feel like I need to introduce that sooner because it's so good. And sometimes I sing along with it and it kind of like helps her wind down and I feel like it just helps to calm her down and I can sing along to it and it's so good. So anyways, I just had to um, share that because yeah, I feel like any helpful parenting um, help or tips is much appreciated by me too. So <laughs> I love when other people share their helpful hints. Yeah, so I need to stick to my, like, I want to stick to my mum days and yes. work days, which I know, and that's why I'm trying to implement. But my other thing is, tomorrow it was meant to be trying to get a heap of content done, like a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. It's 30-something degrees. So I'm like, that's not good photo weather. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, how do I, like, just navigating this kind of thing. And she's still, like, we're still just getting into it, I guess. But, but yeah, these days but just Like, have you me. looked, is it going to be... Overcast tomorrow? Or is it I just don't know, I haven't even looked. Pure sun all day. I'm not very good at changing the weather. Today just is a constant reminder that I need to be better at working on work days and being mum on mum days. It's yep. really hard trying to fit work and then I feel guilty because I'm not paying attention, like being present with Camilla, I guess. Mm -hmm. And we need to go shoot this Kmart thing. Yes. Which that's fine, I have to do. You're going to do your hair and makeup? Yeah, I haven't done it yet. Shut up, I've already <laughs> done it. But yeah, I like want to plan more things like this this year. Where what have we got planned? We don't really have any have plans we got any for the money? rest of the year. Well, we've got Easter. Your Thailand. Yeah, if 
we can make that happen. And then I haven't even been to Thailand. I don't know where you, should, you can do Bangkok. No, that's a city. I think you fly to Phuket. Phuket, yeah. But I liked your idea. Like, I haven't been overseas since. You went with your mum. Since we went to Bali pre-COVID, so I haven't been overseas since. I've mm. never really been on like an overseas friends trip. Yeah. And also since having Camilla, I haven't been on any trip by myself. I might be able to take a couple of days off and just have some daddy bubba time. Yeah. And I liked what you said before about just... work really hard up until the holiday like, to wait, really when, have a break. When's the last mentally check when's out? When's the last trip you went on without me or your family? A trip, like I went to Melbourne, but that was for work, like for one night. No, 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 a holiday. I actually don't know. But it's a long time for me to be away from Camilla. Well, get over it. <laughs> She'll be fine. I know. I just need to like... Yeah. I think though, if I can be really It'll up be to tough. date with... You'll have to go and get a few massages every day. Just yeah, to deal with right. the stress. Oh, yeah. Pedicures. You have to do it. Facials. Alright, I've just finished up doing a few work jobs and... Now, um, Harry's home from work as well and Camilla's just up from her nap. I'm just gonna get changed and we're gonna head out to the shops. It's quite hot, it's like 30 plus outside, it's so hot. Um, we've actually gotta head out to Kmart. I'm doing like a little fun challenge with Kmart, so I will explain to you on the way what we've gotta do, but that should be fun. So Harry's coming along to film that for me. Um, I'm hoping Camilla and I can kind of be in the content and Harry can film, but firstly, I need to get dressed. I'm thinking, quite hot but I like I want to look nice I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this skirt which I love it's like this white flowy skirt and something on top we will see yeah Baba mom yeah Slowly turning from mummy to mom. <laughs> when she first starts speaking, it's mama, mama, dada, and now it's mummy and daddy most of the time. But then sometimes when it's a bit more of an attitude, it's like mom, dad. <laughs> Anyways, I'm thinking this skirt, and I kind of want to wear this. I haven't actually worn this much. I shot this once for a campaign. This is from Golia. So beautiful, and it has this matching like tailored pants but way too hot for that so i'm thinking this will look cute might try this on with the white skirt okay finished look i've gone for the white skirt golia vest little gold metal frame sunnies i've gone for tan accessories i wasn't really sure i was gonna wear like ballet flats i feel like i always go for ballet flats just way too hot so i've gone for my oran sandals from hermes let me just see if i can Pop you somewhere and show you the full outfit. I need to find a better spot where I can fit the full. Mm, that's not even gonna do it. Tan it back as well. See you here, can you see? Not really. Hmm. This house lux. <laughs> okay, let me just get Harry to show you. Here you go. Hi. Hey. Can you hold that for me? So, obviously Paige wants to show off our joint look. We've gone beige <laughs> okay, on top, you, white you, on top, you can show white your on outfit. the bottom, beige on the oh, bottom. Oh, we're actually so quite matching. Yin and yang kind of look. What are you having, Bob? Oh, you're having potatoes. You're having potato gems for lunch. She wanted to eat on the couch. That's so fun. I love that. Yeah. No, can you actually show me? Okay. We can so see the outfit. Tan sandals and matching tan bag. I haven't worn this bag all summer. I wore this so much last year and the year before. Um, but this is super sold out. It's like eight, like years old. It's from Relax and Entertain. I don't even know the brand. It's just like a super random brand. Um, but love it. Love the top handle. Um, but yeah, this is the final look and we're off to Kmart. And yeah, I'll share with you when we're in the car what we're up to. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Someone's got some energy. We'll turn that off. Camilla, what's this? Catch me. Catch me, hang on. 
He meant to catch it. Whee! Good throw. Hey, Bubba, we're going to pick an outfit for you to wear. Are you going to catch down, Bubba? What are you going to wear? Hmm? Boots. 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 Oh, it's too hot for boots. She always wants to wear boots and that's like 30 degrees. She Trust even me. own boots. <laughs> yeah, those back ones. They're too big. They're aren't too they? big, yeah, I know, but she doesn't know that. Yeah, that's... that's not the weather. Bubba! No, she's also got those Ugg boots. She wants oh, to wear yeah, these she... and it's like 30 degrees outside. She used to have these other really good. They're too small for her now. Yeah. Remember the yeah. tan ones? Yeah. Okay. It's hot, Bubba. Trust me, you're going to have lots of cold weather to wear that in winter. It's too hot. It's 30 degrees. What about this one? No, not hardy. Not hardy. Bubba, hold it. These shoes. These are actually the shoes that Camilla wore for our wedding. Well, she wore these ones, and this is the next size up, but they are trashed. Look at those. Do you want to race, Mummy? Ready? One, <laughs> two. <laughs> Camilla! Oh, you look so cute. Show us your bag. Do a spin. Where's your bag from, Bub? Daddy got that for you, didn't he? That's from Singapore. Okay, so we've just arrived at Kmart and we're gonna go in basically what this collab is. And we need to work out how we're actually gonna film this, but it's basically we've been given a gift card from Kmart in partnership with this. And we need to go in and race around the store, have a look through all the aisles and select a product from each of each category that they've given me and pick out an item for under ten dollars so I love a little shopping challenge like this basically it's gonna be find finding pieces for our home and popping into our daily routine for under ten dollars so we've got a piece from home decor toys which is where you can come in Bubba um, and apparel so finding like something for the home something for Camilla and something for Yourself. Myself. Which is quite Under fun because we often find ourselves at Kmart on a Sunday. We do. This is something <laughs> so. we normally do anyway. So I feel like super fun. Yeah, we're going to go in the trolley. Yay! Um, but I love the idea of hunting for things under $10. Like I think that's a really good challenge. So we'll see how we go. It's very warm outside too, so it'd be nice to be indoors. Ooh, in the aircon. Let's go. Haven't even got in the door and she's already stopped. Where are you? Come on. Okay, so we've managed to find all of our bits for under $10 in each category. We've got a little bit left. So we're just trying to work out what else. I really like this vase, which you said you liked this as well. Yeah, we really like the vase. We really like this. It's kind of like a nice, um, What's this one? Fifteen dollars. Love this. Like this is definitely something you'd like. You would get this in like pottery barn or something for way more than fifteen dollars. Um, nice with just like this or like with some flowers. Oh, it's very echoey. <laughs> I feel like that's really nice. Oh, it's a bit like it's chalky. Bit, bit, yeah, a bit chalky. We hate that, but it says, oh no, they're all the same color. I also love this, which I already have this in my office. But Do you know? I feel like you can find really good things at Kmart that are like, if you mix it in with some of your nicer pieces, like you would never know that it's just from Kmart. I love that. Um, not that there's anything wrong with no, Kmart. Not, no, I'm just saying it's like nice to mix high end. <laughs> <laughs> this is also really cute. This would be a cute key ball, although maybe not because it's ceramic. But it's still cute. Easter egg, that would be cute. Fantastic for Easter in fact. <laughs> Mention Easter eggs at all and Harry is there. Okay, let's see, what else? What else do you want to get, Bubba? Mm. Lo lollies? <laughs> lollies, no, silly daddy. I'm getting lollies. Lollies. Home from K 
Kmart. We've done a quick dinner with Camilla. Now she's having a bath. So I just thought I would quickly share what we ended up getting. Um, some of this was part of the collab, which that will go up on Instagram. So make sure you go and check that out. And Instagram and TikTok. But we also got a few other bits. So first up from Camilla's section, we got some of these pop tubes. Um, she actually is obsessed with these. I've never seen them before, but if you've got a little toddler, or these would be great if you're going on a holiday. I feel like I'm going to keep these, um, maybe let her have one, but I'm going to keep them. We're going away for Easter in a few weeks, so I think these would be really good. They're like a good, like, sensory sort of thing. A heap of different colours, which is good, but they're just these big things that pop open like this, and then you can push them back in. Um, we were at some friends of ours the other night and their two boys have these and she was just obsessed with them. So I think this is a really cool toy if you've got young kids. Also, she got, she's really into bluey at the moment. So this Easter bluey coloring in book, which is just like a coloring one and it's got some stickers at the front. So they've got heaps of good like coloring stuff. Also heaps of good Easter books, like reading books, if um, like picture books and stuff. If you want to get your kids something for Easter, we've started collecting a few bits for Easter because we're probably not going to do chocolate like normal. Um, so yeah, we've picked up a few little books and stuff like this. I think I'm going to put together like a little Easter basket. So that was for Camilla. I got this one, which for me from the apparel section, all of these bits were the under $10 category. This, I absolutely love this color. It's reminding me of like a Skims fit, like the um, fit of it. I love, I just think it's so cute. Also comes in, I think these were $8. So really good basics. Um, comes in like white, black, gray, other basic colors, but I loved this beige. I just thought this would be really good for like leggings, mum days, um, with like bike shorts, love that. Then these, which I think was so cute. I'm gonna pop one, I think on the coffee table um, and maybe one like in the kitchen. It's like a two pack of these candle holders. But these are just such my vibe. They're like ceramic. And they've got this little scalloped edge, which I think is so cute. I also picked up a packet of these white taper candles, which taper candles are actually super hard to find and come by. Um, we had some of these for our wedding, not from Kmart. I ended up getting them from Amazon, I think. But props to Kmart for bringing some of these out. That would have been handy. So if you're a bride-to-be as well, these would be really good to check out. Three pack, super cheap as well. I think they're $5. So how cute is that? And I've got a set of two. Then, so that was all from the under $10 category. So these were $5 each. So that came to $10. Then I couldn't leave without picking up this, which I showed you already. It looks white on camera, but it's actually quite like a ivory. What color would you call this? Beige, Harry? Look at ivory, cream. Yeah, pretty light green, beige. light beige. <laughs> really cute. So I'm gonna style that up somewhere, um, maybe with some like faux flowers. Quickly, just wanted to show you the fit of the t-shirt. I actually really love this. I'm wearing a size eight, so I'd say. It's like a nice fitted style. It's giving me like Skims vibes. It's very like fitted, really nice. I love the color. Would be really good in like black and white as well. Very cool. So yeah, pretty good for $8. Okay. Another big one like this. Oh look. It's worth it. That's a shit I'm so excited. Harry and I are just sitting down to have a look through our wedding photos. So um, a few days after the wedding, we got like the next day or whatever, we got a sneak peek folder back from our mm -hmm. photographer, which I think everyone does that and you just get like a few photos. But she's just sent through on the weekend the whole amount of photos. So we're making a bit of a night of it. Camille's in bed and we're just going to sit down and go through, we've popped them up onto the TV. 
so that we can just sit here and go through them all and reminisce. She's popped them in categories too. I was just saying to Harry, like getting ready with Harry, getting ready with me, ceremony, reception, all of that stuff. So they're kind of in categories. What category are we starting with? Um, this was just, this is getting ready with Harry. Oh. Ooh, it's gone blurry. We're back. We're back. So we're so excited. Kind of feels like we get to relive it again. So, oh gosh, it's hard to see, but there's our beautiful venue. Somewhere inside. There's your shoes. <laughs> you look so good. Oh, the P and H. Oh, yeah, I feel better set up. Oh, and how nice is the backdrop? That's a good shot, too, actually. I love it. Oh my god, already packed a bags, called a cab, made space. 